Welcome back to RL Guns, guys and girls, ladies. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope y'all having a fantastic day, evening, morning, whatever, wherever it is you guys are at. Hey, man, we got a treat today. We're going to look at a Taurus G3. We're going to go through all the specifications on it, all the detailed information. We'll tear it down for you, show you how you can clean it, how to put it back together. Give you all the detailed information that we possibly can. Stay tuned. Welcome back to RL Guns, guys and girls, ladies. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope y'all having a fantastic day, evening, morning, whatever, wherever it is you guys are at. Hey man, we got a treat today. We're gonna look at a Taurus G3. We're gonna go through all the specifications on it, all the detailed information. We'll tear it down for you, show you how you can clean it, how to put it back together. Give you all the detailed information that we possibly can. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back guys. Are y'all ready to Check this thing out. Come on now, speak up. I can't hear you. You're a little low there. All right, well, let's, uh, let's get down here and take a little closer at it. Come on. I'm not going to bite, guys. Come on, I'm, don't be shy. Come on. Let's go look. Let's check it out. All right, see? I told you I'm not going to bite. All right. Everybody doing all right? Good, glad to hear that. Let's open it up and check it out. Of course, you've got your, your manual, comes with it. And they always tell a good, good, good bit of information in there about it. Uh, your standard uh, barrel lock there. Uh, there's your limited lifetime warranty with every one of Taurus's firearms, man. Fantastic. Uh, oh, look at this here. Looks like you save ten dollars if you order their uh, carbon fiber uh, holster now that oh and thirty dollars off the laser huh that is kind of cool yeah that's neat all right let's get in here and I think we've got a I think there is a second magazine in yep there it is right there all right, we'll set all this aside. We'll put this over here. Hey, look here. <laughs> I did bring a measuring stick so we can, uh, you know, make it, make it look a little bit more uh, easier for you, for you to read it. Well, to exactly see how, the, how long it is anyway. Oh, my God, I can't talk today. It's, it's just been a long day. It's late here. You know, I'm supposed to be closed and back home, but... Hey, I'm thinking of you guys. I'm trying to I'm trying to give you as much information as I can about some of these things um, to hopefully you know help you guys out as well. You know, I don't know everything, but what I do know, I want to try to share. So that's the best part about it, right? All right. First things first. Let's make sure it's unloaded. Get that plastic out. Yep. See, nothing in there. So we have got an unloaded gun. And here we go. Here's the uh, two magazines. Very nice. And these are, if you can see in the light, see that right there? 15 plus one. Woo! That's a lot of rounds. Now that is a double stack. And this is a full size. It's not a compact. I should probably let you guys know that right up front. That it, uh, it's not a... Um, uh, a compact gun by no means. Um, let's see. I think the, I know the frame itself is a polymer and it's, it's like a tan color. If this is, if this, the lighting in here is helping out any, but it looks like kind of a tan color. Very nice grips. Listen to that. Oh yeah. That's not going nowhere. I mean, that fits good. Fits real good. It's got those indentations for your forefinger on both sides, I might add. Yeah, both sides. Oh, 
The lovely, lovely, oh God. Yeah, uh, holy. <sighs> Moses Sandals, this is going to be fun. I had another video up there on, uh, I think it was a Smith & Wesson. Same thing, I struggled with that thing. But I think, if I remember correctly, I believe I got it on the second try. Y'all have to let me know in the comment down below. I think, But I do, I think I, I think I got it on the second try. But, um, so anyway, um, you've got, uh, one magazine here. Look at this here. I just, I showed you this a little while ago. Let's see if I can see myself. All right. Yeah. 15. So one magazine comes with 15. All right. Check this out. This is amazing. You get a second magazine. Look how many rounds. 17. 17 rounds, fellows and fellettes. And also one in the chamber. So that's 18 rounds. I mean, if you miss a target, I mean, you might as well just uh, run. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know what else to tell you there. You just, just run. But that's a lot, man. Look at that. 17 round magazine. Oh my gosh. Fantastic. Well, let's get to talking about this thing here. All right, let's pop one of these in there so it'll hold back on me. Again, the frame is a polymer, and it's like a, like, again, like a, a tan color. And again, the grips are just, just amazing. Look at this, you got that trigger, the, the safety on the trigger. I got to speak this out here, just spit it out. Trigger, now, watch this. Just watch the trigger now. You've got this, of course. There is a little, little slot to get there, but once you get there, that's it. You're there. I mean, so all you're doing is gripping it, and once it's there, it's there. So that's amazing. It's a pretty decent trigger. Not bad at all. Okay, the frame itself is the regular the anodized steel, um, and it looks like it's like a, a hint of green. Can you see that? So with the two colors together they quite they go quite well i mean that looks it looks good i mean that's nice oh, i do love the way this feels let's get you know what let me put the let's put the longer magazine in see how that sticks out here see that let's put the regular one in see there flush so it's flush with the butt put this in look at that got a good place to lay that finger if you want you know some of you guys have big hands and for somebody who's got big hands, this will be perfect. It'll be fantastic. It'll work great for you. The sights on it, the rear is an adjustable sight. Right here, you can adjust that rear. And then you've got your standard steel front sight with the white dot right there. So you've also got a bikini rail mounted underneath the front. So you can add you know, flashlight, I guess I would say the laser, but you you know you don't have to worry about the laser because you got your little coupon right here to uh, get your laser. You get thirty dollars off of that, fellers and fellettes. Look at that, Moses sandals. That is cheap. That's all right. Okay, I've been dreading this. As y'all can tell, I've been procrastinating because I got a feeling this is. <sighs> oh well. First things first. What you guys need to do is make sure you take the magazine out. We already checked before, but let's make sure it's not loaded again anyway, and it's not. All right, you got the infamous little slides right there. One there, one there. Now there is a little channel right here. Can you see this little channel? We want to take this portion right there, that portion right there, and where we want to put it is we want to put it about right there. Can you see that? About right there. I think if I remember correctly, I think it will click back when you hear the click. I think that's when it's time to move it. But let, let's find out. Nope, it does not. So pull those both of them down, the front and the back, release it. Then you're going to pull your trigger and to slide it off. I got it in the first try. <laughs> Holy shit. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, well, <laughs> I shocked myself. All right, well, you got your normal, uh, dang, I got it in the first shot. That's awesome. Um, 
pull this down and that will slide out and look remember I was telling all of you people about this before you know uh, that Taurus and Smith and Wesson and there's a couple other brands out there well they have the whole set together it's not individual you know it's it's all together so you don't have to you know worry about oh where'd my spring go oh where'd that oh I've lost my pen where'd that holy you know you don't have to worry about that all in one package fantastic all right let's take the barrel out there you go you're ready to clean this bad boy I mean it's it's ready to go now if I remember correctly I think the barrel's four inches let's see if I if I uh if I'm correct let's see holy smokes look at that four inches it is not too shabby Memory's getting a little Bella, fellers and fellettes. Bella, it's getting Bella. It's, it's getting better. Whew. All right, let's get this bad boy here and put it back together. Ooh, it's got some of that sticky break-in glue on there. Or glue, yeah. Sticky break-in oil. Oh, put the fat side. Fat side goes forward. And I guess I didn't say, but you set your flat part of the barrel down inside the receiver like that. And then slide it back and set this in here, big in towards the front. Pull it to you and push all the way down. There's two notches there, so you want to make sure it goes all the way down. So it's setting down on there just like that. Okay. Now, slide the rail back on here and pull back, and that is it. It is back in there. Let's see if this one is good as the, the G4. Let's see if it'll release. Oh yeah, a little bit more resistance, but it it it's still gonna release pretty good. Well, I, there we go. Yeah, you, it's a little more resistance. It takes a little bit more to to get that one to release, but um, other than that, it's not too bad. Man, what do you guys think of this? Look at this. Is it? Come on now, I'm waiting. Oh, I heard somebody out there said, "Man, love it." Yeah, and somebody else said, do you get them in different colors? Absolutely. You can get these things in a solid black. You know, hold on a minute. I think I may have, I may have a G3 in a solid black. And I do. Here you go. So you can get one in a solid black. You know, and then this it's the black frame, black polymer. Same thing with your patini rail on the front. So... You can get them in the black. You, there's other colors. You, you can get them. This, this one here, you, you, this is the much more like a dark, darker tan. You can get these in a much lighter tan. My personal taste, you know, I don't, I don't think they, uh, it, it looks as good to me. That's, that's just my personal opinion. Um, the, uh, the all black, that, that looks nice. Um, and then... This one, and then the, okay, oh well, of course, lighter tan. Um, so you can get them in a couple or two or three different different colors. Of them. And you can also get this one in the tan with a, uh, a black rail on the top. Or if you really want to be smart, just buy two or three and swap out the receivers on them and have different colors. I think that, that would be the trick, don't you think? I mean, that's what I would do. Yeah, that work out for me. All right, well, I think that's it. I think we've showed you everything I need to show you about it. Um, let me think for a minute. Let's see if I've forgotten anything. Yeah, I have. Let's do the overall length on it. The overall length, seven inches. The height, five inches. And the thickness, I think, is about an inch. Yep, the thickness is one inch. So it's a good, hefty, Farm, and I think it weighs about 24.8 something, just say 25 ounces. Now, uh, fellows and fellettes, that is not loaded. That's just with the magazine in, bare bones sitting like it is. About 25 ounces, that's what it's going to weigh. Now, when you load it up, depending upon which, you know, magazine you use, of course, that's going to give you a little bit more weight to it. But... I think, uh, I think we've went over everything we needed to go over. Uh, 
Yep, I think we do. I'll see you guys back up top. Well, I hope you all enjoyed that, guys. I hope maybe we give you some knowledge about it. And maybe it's striked your interest and maybe this is a, a firearm for you. It's a perfect firearm. Uh, my wife has, has shot, we've got one, it's just an all black. And my wife has shot it multiple times and she really likes it. Mainly because of the weight of it and the grip. And it doesn't have as much recoil as most of your, you know, your small compact nine millimeters do. And I probably didn't say that in the, in the video. I think that was one thing I left out, that this is a nine millimeter, by the way. Can y'all tell sometimes it just, just never goes right? Well, guys, look, I am so happy that y'all stopped by again and, and watched one of our boring videos that I think is a bit boring. I try to get them as most exciting as I can. I mean, can you see the excitement in my face? I mean, I'm, I'm busting to the seams. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much. All you subscribers out there, we appreciate it so much. We are at 108 subscribers, and we've only been YouTubing for two months, and my videos are not all that great. I don't think they are. I want to learn more. I'd really appreciate if you guys comment in the comment and say, hey, I would try this, or we recommend this. I'm up for criticism. I'm up for anything. Just, just let me know. Uh, that's how we learn. I'd love for this channel to grow. And some of you guys and gals out there that have not subscribed, please subscribe. It's really going to help my channel out a lot. We'd love to hit 1,000 subscribers if that ever happens. But right now, we're so blessed and tickled to death that we've got 108 subscribers. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have been wonderful. We'll see you on the next one.